Alrighty. Let me actually make sure that everyone's at the proper volume. La 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 la. La 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 la. Cool. Somehow that was still in the green. Your mom's in the green. True. Yeah. Got him. Alright, so. Last time on Into Hell's Maw. Uh, the group brigaded into the Snake Fang encampment and were able to take down what remaining bandits were still there. Two members escaped, however, one of them being a mad doctor, the other being some form of assassin by the name of Ozzy. All aboard! Let's... we continue. And the floor is yours. Are we still in the burned camp? Yes, you are. And and I am at two HP, yeah. correct? Uh yes. Yeah. You guys are just after the encounter with Ozzy. All right. Thank him. Oh, we could go bug. after him, but I'm drained. I'm 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 thinking we just gather up what we can, spare supplies, jump on back in that wagon, and uh. Long rest our way back to the city. Somebody else yeah. want to drive this time? Just, just throwing that out there. I can I'll drive. drive. Uh, I can drive. Uh, I'm, I'm rested. Uh, since uh, she, it's already, it's dark, right? She pulls to the left, and I, I go lay down in the back, and plop. I'm gonna drag <laughs> what we can into the cart. I was about to say that. Uh, I was about to say, like, as you're leaving, Gunther would call call to you to essentially just, like, come get the stuff that's in their storage camp and bring it back with you. I'll just uh, fly over the camp and see if there is anything that might have survived uh, walking around. Give me an investigation check. See my investigation... There's so many character sheets, holy shit. Already sorry for disappearing, I'm back. What did I miss? We're rolling investigation. Just, uh, yeah. Oh, sweet, I will roll investigation too. Oh no, just Keldar. Oh, okay. Did see, I, he I wanted to investigate to the, the uh, camp to see if anything survived. I'm moving loot, smart. Right. But an eight will be insufficient. Yeah, I'll fly over, uh, fly uh, the wagon and see. Oh. Doesn't seem like uh, anything survived. Uh, you know, are are we trusting? Uh, it's Gunther, right? Gunther. Yeah, Gunther's the fireman's. Yeah. We're we're trusting him to uh have given us all the available loot, you know, like secret safes or chests. Ask him. I I look over at Gunther. Mm -hmm. Gunther's I, still with us. I mean, Gunther probably would have taken his own caravan back. Caravan back. Oh, okay. Never mind. So... You guys did really well with the setting fire to this place. Like, I don't know what you did because I was unconscious for a while, but you did great. Hmm. In any event, we should get back and tell them about the assassin. Uh, if you guys uh, might want to to rest while we're riding uh, while we're riding back, uh, I can command the wagon. Very well. If you get tired, I'll take over for a bit. I'll hop into the wagon, lay down for a nap. What do we do with this equipment here? Is there a 
pull up the equipment that we got from we got our litty loot and he'll sort of peruse and be like what do we do with it take it with us hmm I'll uh, pick up the armor of will uh, uh let me just see one thing denied uh, it's too heavy for me and I'll give it back Oh, I'll just quickly pluck and pocket. Well, actually, I'll pluck the Soul Collector. Can I, like, do a check on the Soul Collector to find yes. out more about You can do an Arcana check, or because of the god you follow, you may do a Religion check on it with advantage. Oh, Religion okay. advantage? Parties? Yeah. Ooh. Loggers. Uh, Pray for your god I, now. Somebody save me that name. Plus six. Plus Crap. six to religion. God damn. Bro. Uh, you know what? I I'm get take the advantage. This is the Messiah. With religion. So. The, the nine. Uh, the accursed number. Actual nine. That's cursed. Okay. Alright, so thirteen. <clears throat> oh nice. Uh, I found ah. here my notes. Uh, I don't know if there is still time, but uh wanted to use a magic find to see if there is anything uh, on the field. Ah, very well. After the find. Let me roll that for Oh man. I forgot to cast guidance. Whoops. I mean, you can, you can cast it uh, and just but, give him the extra roll. I mean, guys, this is what a 1d4. Yeah. I mean, a d4 can. That can change worlds. Yeah. I'm gonna give you the d4. Alright. Well, you that I'm gonna roll this. Okay. Well, that's a 1. So. Okay. I found God's dagger. Alright. I'm gonna handle these separately. This is going to take a moment because I have to go find all the old stuff that I just fucking deleted earlier today. By the way, Garbage well file. a 14 in your religion check will tell you that this item seems to be akin to one of the dice that the, the goddess known as the Collector is always depicted as carrying. You're also able to know that her dice specifically is described as being able to change weapons. Or Ooh. change into various weapons. However, you're not sure how. Mm -hmm. Now to go oh, grab a bunch of loot. The collector. Yes. Give I, me the I, collector I, lore now. I follow the collector, who is a very awesome god and patron. Damn. Would I be opposed to the collector, Mr. DM? Hmm, Smile. I don't know. Who do you follow? I follow Sia. You know that. Let's yeah, see here. Probably. See, I got of justice, or not God of justice, just like fate and order. Hmm. I suppose that's for the most part up to you, because the collector herself is only a minor patron of Feora, and she's also the god of gamblers. So you may take of that what you will. I probably don't give a shit. Oh, listen here, <laughs> the collector is amazing. I mean, I don't give a shit in, that, in the sense that I won't kill you for it. Oh, them spitting words. But okay. I cleaved the man in half last time. I'll do it again. <laughs> Who has the great sword? Me. I do. That was uh, quite a sight. collector will, will provide <laughs> trust in the collector uh i guess i'll i'll hold up the the amulet of blade or the amulet and i'd be like who wants this one i'm asleep god damn it 
Jeez, there's also snoozing on the cart. Can I notice something wrong with the amulets, like a square door? Oh, uh, you may if you are kind of check it. Uh, I wouldn't uh, in character uh, check that. So. Mm -hmm. Give me the pretty necklace, goddammit. Gave it to uh, you. No, knowing our good friend, Elena, you leave uh, me I, I, I think she'd uh, want that necklace, but seeing as they're asleep right now, let's, mm -hmm. let's set it aside. Put it next to her. It was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger surprise. Let's just put it on. Honor. Joking. Joking. Curse her without her consent. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm joking. Please do not put it on her. Do it. You could put it on yourself and test it out. Test Cry it out. Don't test do it out. That. Smile. We do a little Don't testing. Do it. Make sure it's a gift fitting of a lady of Helena's caliber. Uh, he'll put down the amulet and then lift up the great axe. Good. What about this one? He'll sort of, he'll look at the other guys and be like, hmm, wait a minute. You guys aren't much fighters. Question. As a scrivener, would I be able to find this sense magic from that one amulet? Hold on, I'm still typing up loot. What was the question? Would I be, as a Scrivener, be able to, like, automatically s sense a little bit of magic from that amulet? Yes. Any any casting, cl any class that is able to cast, you will be able to, to do, like, Arcana checks and such. Cool. I would love to Arcana check that amulet, just to satisfy a curiosity of what it could do. Very well. Do it. Right. Damn. That will be sufficient Defense. to tell you just the basic, basic effects of the amulet, which you already know, as well as the fact that this amulet appears to be cursed. Essentially meaning that while you are wearing this amulet, you will accrue one madness. <laughs> madness stacking, let's go. It is my final form. Um, seeing, seeing as Helena is still asleep, I highly recommend we get rid of this amulet. Uh-oh. Why is that? Um, uh, because it, it, it's great, but its negative effects could, uh, very harshly impact our good friend. What should be After up for the... them to decide, not us. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Maybe there is a way to cleanse this amulet on the future. We'll have to keep uh, hold of it. They already, they already seem partially mad anyway. Exactly, that's the problem. <laughs> anyway, so who took the X? I'm, I'm assuming Kavaris? I do not know if I would use it just yet. However, I'm more interested in looking at this armor. I God, feel, I'm not uh, gives you so much shit. Yeah. Holy fuck. I want to look at the armor. I want to know what it, what physically is on it right now. Tell me a physical description now. Do it now. Alright, let me control C that. So I can hide it for a little bit. Because <clears throat> I still have to roll three more charts. God, you guys get so much shit from the 97. God damn it. Alright, uh, it is a set of white and silver holy armor, specifically adorned with, I believe it was Dolstrom. Let me check my charts and make sure that's correct. Dolstrom, smile. Nope, Dolstrom was a different one. It was Balret. Either way. Uh, you are able to tell that this armor was worn by a holy knight of Balret. Specifically, Hello. given the energy that comes off of it, you are able to tell that it's from the Azamarian order. Hmm. 
It's even got wing holes on the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to roll a bunch of fucking dice. <sighs> One, yeah, two, roll the dice three, already. Four, five, six, seven. D seven. Five. One. Two. God oh, fucking damn it. One thing to change weapons here, uh, can we do an attack at the same turn? Always hated how weapon uh, changes on D&D. &D. Hmm? What'd you say? Changing weapons to attack. Uh, can you change weapons and attack at the same turn? Uh, I recently what I've been doing is I've been having it be an action to change weapons, but I think I might just make it a bonus action instead. I see. Why did I re put that in there? God damn it. And this guy has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. D eleven. 10. What is gonna happen? Are, are we in the wagon traveling or are we still loading the wagon up? We're uh, we can... traveling, I think. Or we're starting to travel anyway. Yeah, we're gonna travel soon. Uh, basically, uh, we have to wait to see the loot to see if something we have to put on the, the wagon or not. Good good because uh i'm gonna attempt to do something before we potentially take this long rest but i have to wait for gliss to be ready because it's gonna involve him a bit wait I'm fucking watching a graphics card drop stream and this one's fucking dropping 2k dollar cards can't handle <laughs> that. Yeah, uh, I'll make a prayer to my God while we're waiting to protect us uh, on the way back. And this is everything you found from your magic find. It's a fuck ton. So, you, so get ready. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, this is what happens when you roll at fucking ninety-seven. <sighs> what the fuck? There are various merchant carts there, which dropped items as they were leaving. Uh, those last three items are what those were. Portable scrap cannon was from that metal man you killed. Hmm. Uh, the hellish residue was a sort of trail, I guess. The glowing bead was exactly that, sort of small glowing bead. And the Lionel scimitar uh, is recognizable by a couple of you. Yeah, hey, Gracharis, look at look at this here. I'm gonna pick at the specialized great sword blade and toss at him. I will examine it. How specialized is the specialized great sword? Grant set plus two to hits. Is it adding plus two to? hit or is it just gonna make it plus two to hit it adds a plus hit. two to your hit damn that would give me a plus three to hit if that is math proper what because the uh, great sword that i have already is plus one to hit so i didn't know if it was gonna be plus oh, no. three to hit or it would if it's just upgrade. yeah it would swap the blade out so you go from the plus one to the plus two damn all right I will uh, I, I will look at the rest of the party, seeing that they do not have great swords, and will understand that I should use the specialized great sword blade. Yeah. Looks good to me. He's so cool. Uh I will gently pick up and hold the strange potion and glowing bead. But uh Wait, is kinda... it a shimitar?
Are we just not going to talk about the portable scrap cannon? I'm assuming it's heavy. So I automatically can't and won't use it. Bro, but be Roadhog. Nope, we're not gonna talk about the scrap cannon. <laughs> that was about what I was about to say, Molotov to the cards. We, you know what? We potentially could. Uh, hey, Gliss. Yeah. I would like before this long <coughs> rest. Uh, I'm sorry. My uh, creationist. You don't have creationist, sir. You are level two. Oh. Haha. <laughs> So, how are we dividing the gold? 1.1k uh, to each person? I didn't get that. Yeah. When do I get it? You get creationist at level 10. <sighs> that sucks. Ramsey's <laughs> wolf divvied up the gold before she went to sleep. Uh, no. So, are we good to leave? I want to. I want to look at the the holy symbol of Elvira, or however the fuck you pronounce it. Elvira. I was imagine Alvira with Alvira. Booba. Yeah, and I'm more Booba. interested on in the hellish residue. What that is. Let's see. Bro, just have Ramses equip it. Have a fucking portable scrap cannon. Literally a tank. I mean, I could. I totally could. How Road big Runner is it? Is it could? Is it like a ship cannon or just like a? a it's musket? fairly small. Like it's something that you could just like carry under your arm and then fire. Oh shit! Man, that'd be really cool. I kind of like that. Add it to your shield. Like, like on the, the top part of the shield, have it stick out so that there's a cannon. So when you aim, like an actual fist towards it, <laughs> just put it on the other side of my shield. So when I turn my shield out, you just see a cannon. <laughs> yes. I'm not chopping off my arm to have it arm cannon. Oh wait. No, no, no. My, I said I mean have it strapped to the other side of my arm and then have my. Shield yeah. on the other side. No, I know what you mean, but I'm talking about berserk weapons. Because there's a fucking arm cannon. Feels bad, Miura. Feels bad. Yeah. It's essentially a blazing sun with a sword in front. Pog chan. We, the suns and fire are kind of my thing, but I don't want it. What the fuck? Maybe I... defensive. Yeah, that's less of an item that you found, I guess, and more of a trail. Ah, those are like hints, clues, like the residue and the and the symbol. Hmm. Leading north of Skarka. Skarka. I'm curious what the glowing beat is, but I'm sleeping, so Ramses doesn't actually care. <laughs> I was about to ask, can I do an arcana check on the, the bead and potion? Yes. Right. The potion, right. however, you would have to do... The fuck would that even be, god? No I want to say a nature check. Will. I mean, I'm debating on where. Well, it. if we it's have magic, it. it would be arcana, and if it was naturally made, then yeah, it would be nature. I mean, the potion itself is not, uh... Ooh. I accidentally clicked on the mute cord. Fuck. Who is <laughs> awake right now? On the wagon. I'm awake. I'm awake. Uh, I am. Uh, while searching it, for stuff, uh, I found, uh, apparently some clues, uh, to the hellish appearances here. Uh, some residues, uh, leading north of the town. I'm saying that. My lizard tail is covering my eyes. That is insufficient to maybe... identify the potion. Uh, no, that's for the... Oh, that's for the orb. Uh, yeah. That, uh, that is on. that is still insufficient to identify what the orb is, exactly. 
Yo, but what if I gave him guidance? Oh, okay. Give him that D4 now. And then nice. You said no. Still insufficient. Okay, I'm getting all my ones can, out. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning we uh, go north of the city, see if we find anything. Perhaps we go to the city first and uh, relay everything we've gotten here. We could just time skip to the city now, and that way everyone's awake to investigate the items. Yo, but I want to RP. I. <laughs> and unfortunately, wanna... a five will be insufficient to identify the potion. <laughs> Damn. Man. <laughs> Rolling low today. Uh, while they're, uh... Is it a horse uh, pulling the wagon? Yes. I'm gonna do a prayer uh, while they talk on the back covers and so on. I'm gonna load Just... everything on the cart. Getting ready to go. My tail moves off of my eyes, and I'm sleeping with my eyes wide open, just snoring. Like a crocodile. Why? Did Helena die? Oh, pass my hand uh, over her eyes. Who's gonna drive the cart again? I forget. Me. Damn. When I'm... Is everyone on the cart smile? Are we ready, smile? No, Ramses is just sleeping face down in the sand. I'm kidding, <laughs> she's on the cart. Fail RV. Kavaris would never smile. Yeah. True. Cringe. <laughs> right? And thus you get on the cart and head back to Scarchoff. Mm. This is a fun little, little trip. Uh, I'll be eyeing the potion, just tempted to drink it before we get to the city. Um, that's the I'm wrong tempted. theme, god fucking damn. Uh, I'm tempted to wear the armor, but I won't until we make it to town. Wear it now. I, I, I was planning to go to like the potion man's when we got there for a little bit. Wanted to go talk to him anyways. Alrighty. I, I would like the bead in the potion to be in a nice little padded pouch on my belt. But I don't know about that potion. I just wanted to go there anyways. You guys should probably type something up uh, that's just like what items are going to who. That way it's much easier to sort of like sort out all your stuff, essentially. Uh, I'm gonna grab this thing. I got a... I'm gonna go grab this scimitar show. So, uh, do you think they'll be happy that we clear out the, the scamp? It was quite a bit of work, uh, a lot more than, than I expected. I think they'll be surprised to see us back at all. Me too. I don't think he intended to send us on a suicide mission, but that was... It's imperative that he knows how dangerous they are. The, the assassin still escaped. Zero. A bastard. We're a really dumb bastard. Fuck, okay, I don't remember if the guy said to me that he was a prince of this city. No, I think he did. He, he did. He did. Regretfully, I did. Uh, do you want me to forget that magically? No! What's done is done. We must only he's, move forward now. He's probably a powerful enough caster. He probably knows that spell that makes people forget things. Yeah. That's a level yeah. 9 spell, dog. No, it's I'm not. Modify is it not? memory? No, it's not. Yeah, I think it's only like 4 or 5. 
Why is this a I fifth level spell? For. Cringe. I can forget that. Oh, it's like, I wanted a whole hallucinate. What are we forgetting? I just got back from the bathroom. Nothing. Perfect. We, we are forgetting that... Uh, We're forgetting this conversation. Oh, the... The hell ruby? Huh? No. Where uh, is since, since everyone's awake, I'm assuming, I'm gonna talk to them about the rest of the loot. And be like, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Look at the loot. So that hasn't been cleaned already. If y'all want to say uh, it now. RP it. I'm. I'm. <sighs> I mean, I'll take the axe for now. Then I'll hand you the axe. Okay. What does Helena want? Um. Uh, Helena, I, I will say before before you take it and put it on, that this amulet may cause you to have some mental struggles. Like what? Amulet? It's an amulet. As he pulls out the amulet to show you, I imagine the first thing your eyes focus on is the extremely shiny ruby in the center of it. A pretty necklace? Why didn't you just say so, Zorg? You're too sweet. <laughs> no, Helena, please. Reaches please, out for the necklace. <laughs> Slowly backs away, hand out. Please, wait, listen. What? It, do, do you want to no. kiss first? Oh, no. It will make you go more mad, possibly. I'm not mad. I'm just not a morning person. Literally crazy. Do you want <laughs> me to bite you? If you bite me, will you not put on the amulet yet? Sigh. I'll wait till you're ready, Zorg. Awesome, thank you. But I expect a full proposal next time. Alright, well, I'll give you a hug for now. Grumble, grumble. Alright, e uh, while well, everyone is watching that awkward exchange go down, what's with the rest oh, of y'all? I... Would like to go to the store and sell a couple of things. I have two long bows that nobody, well, that I won't use, and some chain mail that I've outgrown at this point. So. All right, two long bows and some chain mail. Let's uh, see. if it's roughly the same place, I'll be going to go buy armor. Yeah, I'll probably go to like a weaponsmith, armor smith. I'm gonna I try it. Oh, go ahead. No, I would just like to say uh, I would uh, go to the same place I bought the the, sh the buckler shield. Uh, um, I'm probably gonna take the armor set, the armor of will, and go to the uh, wherever the church is here, or any religious area, and see if I can get help with it. Smile. Shockingly, I don't believe this area has a religious church there's no place of worship or any clerical mages mm -hmm. guild question mark there is the traveler's guild the blacksmith shop the refugee camp the medicinal camp the mages hall the soldiers hall there is the sand sovereign which is a tavern and then there's the palace after realizing that there is no place of clerical worship <laughs> i'm going to regretfully go to the mages hall Poggers. or guild uh before he goes kravaris that was Kovaris, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna ask you if you wanna maybe take the potion and bead and see if they can investigate or look into the these items over there while I go buy armor. He will nod and take the items when you hand them to him. I, I have some questions, too. Hey, Ramses, do you have that stuff I gave you? Oh, um, yeah. Orc eyebrows and the 
And and the Moonfire Festival Ash? Yes, yes, I do. Here, I'll just take that, too, because this okay. could be good for the potion. You know what I'm saying, Zorg? I'll, I'll, I'll pull it out of, like, a side pocket in my backpack. Huh? And then just kind of, like, shake it into her hands. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna put it in a little sack. Make a dexterity throw. <laughs> okay. And now, um, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with you, Cravaris, to go to the Mage's Guild, because I also want to talk to that guy about why he tried to get my friends killed. Alright, who else is going to the All Mage's right. Guild? Uh, Helena. Yeah, Helena, Helena, Cravaris, who else? I think that's it. And then everyone else is going shopping? Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. A uh, place that is selling armor. And when you, you say that the, the Centaurian Great Axe gives disadvantage on maneuverability checks, do you mean a dexterity checks like dexterity saves, stealth, sleight of hand, no. acrobatics? I specifically mean like, uh, let's say... Probably just the best example. Like, if you're doing a backflip or something, you would have disadvantage on it. Or, like, let's say you're trying to maneuver a tight cliff, you would have disadvantage on that. Okay, so just acrobatics checks, then. Yeah, essentially. Though, okay. athletics can also be factored into that as well. So, I guess, like, climbing. Ugh. Gross. I definitely don't want to use this. Okay, good to know. It's very yeah. situational for when it'll come up. However, you are going to be traversing hell, so... That can come up fairly often. If I'm sure. not using it, do I still have the disadvantage if it's just strapped to my back? Yeah, you have a, the disadvantage if it's equipped. Okay, so only if it's equipped. Good to know, thank you. Let's see here. Okay. Should have made your character Eskinor. What the fuck was I doing? Oh yeah, opening up the shop. Here you go. I should have made my character a centaur. <laughs> True. I almost did. <laughs> that was one of my options. Okay, let's see. Damn, these motherfuckers do be shopping. Alright, that's plus 250 gold from your sales. Ooh, what's a tower shield? A tower shield, uh, currently that is something I'm experimenting with. I plan to give, give one more AC than a regular shield, but have some sort of drawback as well. I'm not sure what the drawback I want to be, though. They gave me 250 gold pieces from the longbow and the- or the longbows and the armor? Yes. Sweet. Dang, that's a lot. Be rolling in the gold. Do be Wait, generous. A dagger wand. That's Look, cool. Studded leather. I- I would imagine that tower shield drawback would be because it's a fucking tower shield. Yeah, play, it, it's loose. fucking huge. You'd probably lose again acrobatics. I, hmm. I I fork over the hundred gold for the studded leather. Alrighty. Hmm. Where would I go to buy a, a an instrument? God, I want to buy a lyre. Or a, I don't know. To pronounce that. Let me. See. Hmm. But uh, well, also to buy some alchemist supplies. Well, I don't believe we have any instrument shops around here. Well, with the coming festival, you're bound to find someone that's selling that type of stuff. Hmm. And where one be able to find an alchemist supplies around here? Well, your best bet's probably asking Patrine, but given her preparations for the upcoming festival as well, shockingly enough, she may not be in the best mood. Yeah, I see. Thank you very much, y'all. This, this is an excellent show, by the way. Good job. Thank you. If I'm to be entirely honest, my design of shields is currently my pride and joy. Also... If you ever... If you ever, uh... Maybe somehow, uh, end up uh, improving it somehow, uh, I would uh, like to know. Okay, I think I know how I want to do tower shields now. So, uh, god. I'm trying to think what's called. 
Is it a spiked pavies? Spiked pavies. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those giant shields that you just slam into the ground, essentially. These things. Oh yeah, the... What do they do? Uh, it's the... It's the uh, crossbowmen used to use them on hmm. sieges. They plop them down on the floor, use them for cover, and shot them. If you, like, you put them on the ground, you can't move, but you get a... Maybe cover from it. You could so probably, like, you could probably argue that you could use it as like temporary mobile cover and that. Uh, yeah, that's what like I was gonna do. And shit. Uh, I was gonna give it plus two AC while equipped, and then you can put it down as cover. Hey, glitch. sweet. Would I be able to carry that in my regular shield on me at the same time, or no? No. Okay. Never mind then. Wait, wait, would I be able to one hand it in a weapon at the same time? You may. Will it give me disadvantage on anything? Oh uh, no. However, you when should've... you when you use it for cover, it will essentially act as if it were unequipped. You lose the AC. Hmm, okay, okay, yeah, I'll buy a tower shield before I leave then. Send me a description later when you write it. Alright. Uh, Additionally, I will say that is a, this is a ex very experimental item and could be subject to change in the future. That's fine. Just keep me updated. Beta yeah. item. Beta item. Hell Let's go. See so your tower, tower shields. Shield that's 100. Beta. And then you bought the studded letter. That's 100. So technically, you got 50 gold from this exchange. Hell yeah. So, Perfect. what was the name of the person who said I might have uh, the alchemist supplies? That would be General Patrine, who would be in the medicinal tent. Or the medicinal hall, I think is what it's called. Okay. Let me actually just I'll grab you there. all the places. Yeah, I'll go there. Uh, it's kind of good because I also wanted to buy some potions, so... Hey, Glyph. Hey. What did I roll my religion checks on again? Roughly, how much would you say the tower shield w weighed probably twice as much as regular shield? Yeah. Okay. You will do religion checks on, like, the soul sucker thing. Yeah. Uh... What happens if... Because I forgot... Um... I added my normal plus four from my stats, but I forgot to add an additional plus four from being from Liberan. Ah. Hold on, let me put all that there. What did you roll before? A six, like a 15? Uh, I rolled my... The, the two religion checks, the one was a total of nine, and then the other one was a total of five. So the five one probably wasn't enough. But I That's... did roll the five rolled... plus my normal four, which will get another four. Oh, the D20 bigger. plus six plus one was for the potion. Uh, if you add a four, if you add a four to either of those, it's not going to cut it. The the soul dice has DC 19 for full identification. Hmm, no, that, so you already told me that one. That was the 21 I rolled. Okay. I don't think it was. Yeah, the 21 was the soul collector. No, the 21 was for you identifying the uh, other thing. That was the madness amulet, because that plus 6 is an arcana check. Isn't that what the soul collector was? No, you're, if, you were, if you were identifying the soul collector, it would be a plus 4 to you. Well, it would be plus, technically, plus 8. But because you, were soul... because you were forgetting to do your thing, it's only plus four. And then it would be plus eight. And I still didn't. Okay. Sad face. Um, after that exchange, I'll head over to the mage's hall. 
to meet up with Kavaris and Helena. I'll go my separate ways after that, so. Oh, damn. Right. Since I want to buy some toolkits, so. I forget. What race is Zorg again? I can't remember. Orc. Do I have time before Zorg gets there? Yes. He didn't give us the amulet, if I remember correctly. But, um... I would like to, I would like to ask Kravaris, can I see that, um, potion Zorg gave you? He'll hand the potion somewhat reluctantly, but he'll do it. Yes, yes. I was told they get a question about what it is, so I wouldn't tamper with it if I were you. I, I have no intentions yet, but I have my own ingredients. I've been... I've been dying to try and make a potion. I've never done that before. This is like half the battle. Stares at it intently. Kavaris, as you watch Helena staring at this potion, her gaze seems completely empty as she's staring straight through it. I have no idea. Where am I? Insanity is a bitch. Mildly yeah. concerned, but understandable. I have some words for that gas as well. Let's get there. Right. And thus you two will enter into the Mages Hall. Gaz will be there training as usual. However, he will, uh, and after a minute, he will notice that you have come uh, have ugh, returned. Ah, I see you two have returned. Tell me, oh, where are the rest you of you? Oh, before you guys, before I separated with you guys, could I have given them the uh, the snake fang insignia to give back, give to Emma? Sure. Yes. Okay. Just do it at like before we walk in the town and do our yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just holding on to everything right now. Slipping it in the back pocket. You do have the highest strength score, I believe. So you're gonna be Mine's a the 20. item holder. Ah, he is a 17. He's bitch. Get and nod uh, to Kravaris to let him, like, handle his business first. I mean, I'll, I'll go up... I'll, uh... I'll go up to Gaz and do it. We managed to wipe out that encampment. And I'll sort of toss the insignia out of... Sorry, I had to say that in chat. Uh, it wouldn't be plus 13. It would just be your base 5 decks. Which, do you have 20 decks? I thought you had just the plus 4 modifier. I have 20. Uh, yeah, it would just be your focus. dexterity plus your proficiency. Yeah, it's just because on the wording has a plus 6 there that I didn't quite understand. Oh, sorry. That was... I fucking copy-pasted from that from the guy's uh, attack roll. My bad. Haha. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, the, no, wait. Like a... That's the con save. It forces a con save, and the DC of that con save is your dex plus your proficiency plus six. So that okay. would be a DC uh, of yeah. 15. It's a DC and of what? 13, I believe. And if they fail, they, they get bleeding or what? They get bleed, which is 1d4 damage per turn. Okay. Alright, back to this. Ah, I see you finally uh, yeah, you have finally returned. Where are the others? I thought you departed with a group. They're out doing their own business. We decided to come here first on our own. Ah, that is good to hear. For a moment I was worried. Either way, worried what? That you sent us on a suicide mission? No. My friends almost died. Hmm. I see. I heavily apologize for this. I may have underestimated the bandits. It is what my fault. What were they guarding? Well, the reason I sent you after them 
is that they had recently stolen a possession of Sir Gunther and Princess Ailes. It is an item known as the Hellstone, and it is an item we use to get certain resources. We met a prince like that. Oh. Hmm. You must have met Prince Gunther. That man has a knack for getting himself into trouble. Come the I'm for the festival, I believe I have a punishment plan for him. You may be quite interested in it. <laughs> and you will give a hearty laugh afterwards. A general punishing his own leadership? It's something I haven't heard before. Hmm. Here in Scotchoth, many of us see each other as equals. In strength, may we push forward. And as such, strength is what allows one to rule, I suppose. Each of the generals respect one another. And Gunther is little more than another general, as Prince Azale is the one who rules. I'll nod. Nodders. Nodders. And, uh, I'll move along and be like, we get, I got a few more questions for you about the stuff we happen to find. What do you make of this potion? Hmm. Yeah. This is quite odd. I don't believe I've ever seen anything like this even in my days. Even when Patrine yells at me. I don't... She may be able to identify it, but it's nothing like anything I've ever seen in all my years. Apologies. Mm. What I was thinking, too. Hmm. All right. Perhaps we could run a little bit of a test. After all, if something bad goes happen, Patrine could always just fix them up. Yeah, yeah. What do you? What, what kind of test? Well, I could have one of my men take a sip of it. You know what? I think I think we're gonna handle this. I got I got I have my own ingredients. Um, I think I think we're gonna go talk to Patrine. That would be wise. I also Kravaris, thank you. Kravaris is gonna put down the armor and will nod to it and be like, "So, what do you make of this?" That's the that's the uh, Azamarian armor, correct? Yeah, the armor of will. Hmm. I haven't seen this in many years. I plan on wearing it. You would do well to believe in the ring to. There's a group of Scourge Asimov who follow the god Balrat. He's a god of destruction and strength. And they use that destruction and strength as a sort of rallying point against as a rebellion against the dwarves there. Yes, they're freedom fighters, I suppose. I've only met one man who wore this armor. Though I haven't seen him in quite some time. Hmm. Is there anything different about this armor than what you remember? Hmm. Right, he will shake his head. Not that I believe, not that I can see. It seems to have all the same magical properties that I've been told about. I've even heard legends that. Once the Nazimar had his arm cut off while wearing this, and it quite simply grew right back. Legendary piece of equipment it is. I recommend you be careful with it now. Hmm. I'll carry it. Uh, I'll pick it back up. Would there be anybody else who could see if there's anything with this? I, we have a habit of running into peculiar items. Well, if that is all, I do. I would like for you to inform your friends of the reward I would like to give you. <clears throat> Where the fuck? Where did that go? Hold on. There was a toothpick on my desk and just fucking disappeared into the aether. What the hell? Flynn Walker got touched. Literally. It went to hell. It's gone. What the fuck? Anyways. <clears throat> Are we going to hell to find a toothpick, Pog Champ? <laughs> Finally, the main quest. 
legendary weapon. It's Meta Knight's sword. Isn't the pick the name of the Ares sword on your trance or some shit? I have no idea. Give us the quest now, old man! Ah, oh, my apologies, I dazed off. I have a habit of doing that in my old age. Either way, the reward for this is rather simple. During the time of the Moonfire Festival, all of your expenses will be covered by myself. Additionally, oh! <clears throat> as I imagine you need a place to stay, you may stay within the palace. I've already spoken with Prince Azale about this. He'll be quite pleased to see you. I'm finally a princess. <laughs> I'm afraid not yet. But you will feel like one within the palace of Skarchoth. It's truly a maze that I prefer not to be within. Pops open this potion and smells it. Does this smell like bleach? What's, What's bleach? bleach? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Certain about a uh, having Helen in near a potion that I know I gave to Kravartis. What, what is it? What is it? What does it smell like? As we walk, as, oh yeah, Zorg. Uh, Zorg would have entered by now, and you see Hel uh, Helena furiously sniffing a potion. Helena. Either way. Now, how exactly are you sniffing the potion? Because you are a part crocodile or alligator or whatever. Is, is, would you like to your my head? Mouth, my mouth is open. I'm smelling with my mouth like a reptile would. Like, <laughs> like... Not alligators had noses. They do. They do, they do but it's, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. I'm doing a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. We do a little bit of smelling. By the way, as you fucking huff the potion... Uh, the smell of it seems to constantly change with the color. Sometimes it, uh, from one point it will smell like sand, from another it will smell of a swamp, and another time it will smell of deep snow. Though, one thing uh, is consistent with it is that it's constantly changing and rotating between a few specific things. Well, I'd like to arcana check it. Uh, this would be a nature check. Oh, a nature check? Even better. Poggers. I'm gonna give you guidance. Why are you so, smelling it? Is that a... I'll what, add what, the d4 what, what, afterward. What do I roll? Roll nature. Uh, my my nature check is a plus seven. Hell plus yes, seven. Dog. What the fuck is that? No, wait, what's the original... What's, what's the dice that I'm rolling, though? Exclamation point. D20, d20 plus seven. D20 plus... Yeah. Plus seven. Like that. Here's their guidance. Oh god. Alright, 14, oh. that will be insufficient. Damn. Damn. Why are you rolling low today, guys? Come on. That's my first one. I go, ah, just as I thought. A dancing potion. You do have inspiration. <laughs> inspiration <laughs> on a nature check? Smile. Do it. Mm. Your one inspiration. I earned this. Um, yeah, why not? Let me just use it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> the fucking the ADHD method of just uh, I don't care anymore. Smile. Ooh, that's a twenty-three. Hey. All right, that will be enough to identify that this potion appears to be some form of potion of teleportation. God damn. Now, I'm just gonna tell you guys, I don't think we should drink it. Do you know what it is? This will send you places that not even I have been. <laughs> would that be a lot of places you've been? I wish I could remember. <laughs> Sounds like a stoner. Man's gonna be flying <laughs> higher than a kite, dog. <laughs> oh, additionally, I forgot there was one more place that you guys can go. Fuck, I completely forgot about it. But it would have arrived by now. 
the cleric's hall. Oh, uh, no. It's a place where a little bit of trolling has been done countless times. And I fucking uh, hate it. I'll, right. uh... That place is now open if anyone wants to go to it. Ooh. Ooh. But uh, before that, um, Kravaris, have you uh, had him look at the bead yet? Ah, uh, no. Now I'll hand out the bead towards the old man. Hmm. Well... I believe that I can tell you for sure that this is some form of condensed soul essence. Where did you find this? At the camp. Why would bandits have... Hmm. Would this happen to be a damned soul? Well, it would seem to be a failed experiment of one. I suppose you could call it. That's it. I'll keep prodding him further to ask if it's if there's any living creature in here. Well, of course. It's soul essence after all. I I'll I'll uh, handle it with care, Kravars. It would need to be set free. Lena scratches her chin. Hmm. That might explain why my friend tried to take their hell ruby. We can we, we can set them free as as soon as we know there's not a way to restore them. I'm afraid that there is no way to restore someone from having their soul shattered this way. I am capable of freeing them if you would like me to do so. Kravaris, oh. please. I'm holding out my hand. Please, let, let me hold on to it for a little bit. What would you do with this orb, Zorg? You, you know what, Kravaris? I like you. I, I won't bullshit with you. I, I'm, I'm gonna kind of half experiment with it. Kravaris does not like that answer. I'm, I'm gonna use this opportunity of a already unfortunate poor trap soul to potentially see what I could do with trapping evil people souls. You would be destructing the gift of death. But only using it on bad people. Everyone must experience the cycle. Just, just... Gaz will nod. It ex experiments, though, Kavar. You sound exactly like that madman in the tent. Yes. Oh, no. I must agree. Having one's soul severed like this is a fate worse than death. See, Can we see what kind of soul is in there? See, it is a fate worse than death. Reserved for people who just don't experience death. What there if it's a good person? There would only be one person I would allow for this exception, and that would be that evil scientist man. Hmm. You say you met a scientist there? Yes, there happened to be one that was experimenting with an orb. Would the orb have been similar to this? Uh, it seems like a... Quite literally a failed version of the orb that he was carrying around. Right. It's much smaller right. and is just sort of like a weak little light. There was a madman that was using an orb bigger than this one. On so would... creatures. Hmm. I see. Would Kravaris feel like the Asimar energy from it? Hmm. You would. Uh, from the bead or from that orb? If the bead's similar to the orb, I mean, I would... ...think, maybe. I don't know. You would. Well, don't, that... don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna try and make this work for you, Zorg, but I gotta do it in character. I gotta do it in character, bro. Kravaris, all, all I'm asking is that we let the unfortunate soul, who is indeed unfortunately trapped in this, but use them to better understand this so we may exact revenge onto the site. You wish to fight fire with fire? Sometimes the best way to put out a fire is to eat up its fuel. Hmm. 
perhaps. He will reluctantly hand Zorg the orb or the bead. If I see you doing anything of evil, I will not hesitate to bring you down. Glad to that in mind. And I will also ask you to write down the list of what would appear evil in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you considering know. that everything that I am for is to continue the cycle of life and death, uh, you could probably just assume that if you just if you try to make people immortal, or you try to uh, like prolong life, or basically damn a creature to forever exist, uh, that would be considered evil. Anything else, I don't really care for. Strong so, morals. So, so what you're saying is, as long as they die one way or the other, if they die and are allowed to. Embrace Sia. That is all that I wish for. I do not wish them to be damned for eternity. Okay, so what do you mean by damned for eternity? Like, damned to live? Or damned as in potential? Damned as in their soul cannot pass on, like in the speed or in that orb. I'm assuming that in the orb, it, like, their soul is trapped and they can't move on, like... Yes. Some, if I recall correctly, in this world, there's, like, reincarnation? Yes, there something. is. That's yeah. Natural. So it's like, the, would... soul, the soul needs to pass well, on in order to reincarnate, I would imagine. It's somewhat like reincarnation. Uh, if you give me a religion check, I can explain it in detail. Uh... Let me roll that then, smile. I'm gonna give myself guidance. Additionally, ooh, that's big. Additionally, as you do that, Gaz will say, "If you have any question, if you have any further questions, feel free to ask around for me. I will be attempting to find Gunther and address him about these matters. If I can, I would like to hunt this wizard or experiment or whatever he is down. Such affronts to." Anything could not should not be allowed to exist. Uh, I I would like I'll I'll go to the back of my little journal, and I'll write down on two separate pages very specifically. As long as the cycle is allowed to continue, uh, my experiments are allowed to go on, and I'll give one piece of paper to Crevars. Be careful with your experiments. Feel not kind of forming our agreement. When the orb has lost its use, I would hope that you would free the soul. Hmm. I will do. That is the intended purpose. Right. Be careful with your experiments, lest you fall down the same path as the man you are hunting. I wish you a happy festival, and for you to, to, for you to remain cautious. He will nod and he will walk away. That will now explain exactly uh, how the cycle of, I guess, soul usage in RFL works. And this is new news to any players. So, Part essentially, how uh, the soul stuff works, essentially, is a single soul is essentially shared and connected to multiple sources. So, probably the best example is you have, I guess, like a diagram, one soul in the center... And then it connects and branches off into the incarnation of Kavaris. However, another in in uh, incarnation could be Schmidlschmop the Goblin over in Zeaflem. Or additionally, it could be an animal or a flower elsewhere. And if the central soul is destroyed, then every single thing that is connected to that soul is also destroyed. So that basically means uh, players like me or Zorga that play more than one character have two different souls connected to one central soul? That would be correct. However, the other Zorg is not canon because we decided to retcon it. <laughs> also, one second, I think there's someone knocking on my door. One moment, please. <laughs> uh, other Zorg who had golden hands and was, was about to bring back a, a god. Yeah. No. That'd be a cool cousin to have. 
I'm alone. <laughs> Bono is alone, man. No one exists anymore. Pepe hands. Yeah. <laughs> Kravaris may be a religious man. It does not mean that he is the smartest individual with a 12 intelligence. Will you use the Ahma after the explanation? Like 30 things uh, just fell off my desk. Okay, I'm back. Nice. Uh, considering that Kravaris doesn't know that it's been cursed or anything, he wanted to see if it's like, oh, maybe there's something wrong with it. But he's like, oh, no, it's the same as when he wore it, so I might as well wear it soon. I'll probably wear it in a little bit. Yeah, my character, uh, it, it's not his main god. You can have more than one god, right? Not as uh, the main one, but uh, do some prayer on other tots. We do a little if prayer. Yeah. I mean, we know I... that there's. I mean, if we know the existence of multiple gods, so it's not like yeah. it's a blasphemous thing. It's just you know, you follow one that you really want to follow. Yeah. You just yeah. kind of like follow down that one path. However, you may ask uh, other gods for assistance, but there is the main one that you provide like your worship to and such. Or you yeah, may question uh... other gods and such. I only put a uh, libel or libel. I don't know. Uh, forgot. Libel. Uh, yeah, and uh, I put Ballarat uh, only on my sheet here. Uh, as one that you would actually uh, also maybe pray or something. You put libel in Bellathonia. Oh, but uh, I'm saying here uh, on the sheet that I'm on my side. I can put on the world anvil too. Mm -hmm. Can I put two gods in there? You can if you would like. But you better have put... some cool story stuff for it. Okay, yeah. I'll try to think of something. I think I'll, it would be just something that uh, the group that I was uh, believed. But I can try to think of something more. Yeah, I'm cool. I follow Sia. Start a religious war within the party now. Stop picking your scabs. Never. That's fucking gross. If I told uh, my main god, uh, Kravaros would probably be mad. Yeah, I worship one of Sout's creations, so. I, I worship know. a beast. A beast. <laughs> a divine beast. Hell yeah. I, I almost worship the the divine beast. But you guys don't know this. At this point, I'll, uh, uh how I, will, uh, will I have caught up with the party? Uh, yeah, you would, I assume you just go back to the mage's hole? Yeah. Alright, then you enter into there. Hey, oh. Ramses, you just missed that old man. Oh, shoot, I wanted to tell him something. Well, if I see him again, I will. I, I really gave him what for? Mm -hmm. Sarcastically. Well, any event, Helena, can I steal you away for a moment, sir? What? Girl time, yeah. Do you have to go to the bathroom or what's up? <laughs> Is there a place with like a table or a chair somewhere close by? Yeah, there would probably be one in the Mage's Hall. Sweet. So, okay, I'll, I'll lead her to where the table's at, and then I'll stand up on a chair. Could you hold still for five minutes for me? I could I'll try. Uh... Okay, Ex and then I would like to Excitedly is, her... like, clasping her hands, just really excited, but not moving. She's moving her hands back and forth. I I'll try and take my hand- oh wait, your own hands. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take measurements so I can make her a new dress. Uh, while they go off and do that, look over. I'll look over at Cravaris. Hey, Cravaris, you uh want to go check out this sh interesting shop I saw? What shop? Uh, wasn't entirely sure, but it had the word gnome in it, so it looks oh. cool. I see nothing wrong with that. Cool. I think our time here is not required anymore. Earl, you want to get a drink after this? <laughs> hey. Ramses and uh, 
I you know what? I could use the I could use the drink after that last mission. All right. <clears throat> Let me Our make sure time. I don't have a theme for this. Oh, oh, oh. I do not have a theme for the medicinal can. Get one. No. Fuck you. <clears throat> wow. All right. Keldor. What do you do when you... Alright, so essentially, as you enter into the medicinal... Uh, I believe it's the medicinal hall. Yeah, the medicinal camp. Oh, it's the medicinal camp. I'm stupid. By the way, as you enter in there, you're able to see various uh, sort of like medics rushing around, tending to those wounded, though. There aren't too many now that sort of a lot of the warring stuff has died down. Though, one of the main projects, however, seems to be various experiments on certain creatures. Specifically... There, are, uh, couple, there is one woman who is constantly darting between a group of wolves, a few goblins, a couple soldiers, as well as what seems to be potted plants. <laughs> Awaken plants, aren't they? Alright, mm, Gildar. Uh, I'll uh, go to one of the medics. And ask him, who's in charge here? Oh, that would be Miss Petrine. He will motion to the woman who's darting between the corpses. Patrine? Is that oh, right? That's correct. Okay. Uh, I'll walk to her and... Excuse me, are you Miss or Dr. Patrine? I'd prefer, I'd prefer a doctor, but you may call me what you wish. What do you want? Uh, I'm mainly, uh, I'm interested in some supplies. Uh, my group uh, might need them. I so see. If we plan on encountering more trouble, like we just did uh, last night. Well, you've come at a lucky time. I don't really feel like having people in my hair, and we're at an overabundance of supplies now that people aren't getting themselves killed all the time. She will, uh, she will motion you towards the back. Tell me, what do you need? Anything that you can spare uh, that you might not need here on the camp. Uh, Be specific, I'm myself, on a tight uh, schedule. Me, myself, uh, I would like some alchemist supplies. For my group, uh, any healing potion that you can spare would be nice. I see. Let's see here. Yeah. Dog, we would. We just buy them. In fact, just buy out the whole camp. You Anything else person. you need? So that's what she has, or what she's selling me? I mean, she's giving it to you, because you, you, that's what you asked for, correct? Oh, she just gave me? I was gonna buy it, sure. Uh, um, do you have uh, anything else spare that I might also be able to, to buy? Hmm. Let me think. I'm checking things, one moment please. Open another fucking dock. Medium helium potion would be uh, the greater healing. Medium healing would be 2d4 plus 2. Also, oh, the normal potion. Let me put it here 2d4 plus 2. Just put it there. And alchemist set. Well, given the look of you, I imagine there's two things I might have that you could be interested in. She'll put a purple vial as well as a gray as a 
sort of gray flask. This one is a vial of poison. It's rather potent. One of my personal favorites. And this other one is a vial of smoke. Simply throw it, and a cloud of smoke appears. It's rather simple, though it's effective. For some reason, when people are blinded, they start swinging like an animal. Rather helpful to me, I must say. Hmm. And are they obtained like that, and I'll point at the experiments outside? Oh no, those things are for the festival. I believe if you come by the Colosseum, you'll be quite impressed with my work. Monica, is this the evil doctor? Smile. <laughs> oh no, this is a this is a chick. <laughs> She's got a spear. How do we know she did? Uh, the doctor didn't just change their appearance with a spell. True. No. Uh, Additionally, I'm not interested in what happens at the arena. Uh, sometimes uh, it scares me how much. Uh, how would you call a humanoid? Uh, the races of uh, Marafel, like uh, humans, not. Uh, how do you call it? What? A more generic terms uh, for the intelligent races. Of not a fell? Is there a term? Humanoid? I mean, there's a ton of different intelligent races in Narafel. Yeah, I think humanoid might be the best term, but sometimes it scares me what uh, humanoid creatures, uh, how much they can approach to approach to monstrosities. I'm not honestly interested in that. Hey, leave me out of this. You're not even there. <laughs> Suit yourself. So she just gave me those two potions also? Yeah. yeah. Damn, she's just know. be giving away stuff. Yeah. Ask her out too. Now if you don't mind, I need to get I need to get back to what I'm working on. So if you could get out of my sight. She will go back to experimenting on her stuff. Additionally, uh, you will now see that one of the plants has eyes. I was right. It was an animated plant. Animated plant? Anime Anim plant. Poggers. Yeah, anime. That's what I said. I didn't say animated. Alright, Keldar, where are you going? You going to the gnome time? Or are you going to the tavern? Or are you going uh, off to Brazil again? If the, gno uh, if the Noma has a, would have a, the instrument, I would like to go there. Otherwise, I might go to the other one. Uh, I get. The Noma might have the instrument. I'll just send you over there. Cursed yeah. instrument. Yeah, since you were doing that while they were doing the other thing, uh, Kravris, Kaldar, and Zorg will arrive at the Gnomish, at the uh, Gnomium Emporium. One moment, please. Yeah, where's no my music. theme? This is your music. Fuck you. We're not at the festival yet. It's where's tomorrow. tomorrow. Where's my Nomium Emporium music? Fine. I'll get you Nomium Emporium music now. It's time. Anime plan. Anime song. Fuck you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, this is great. <laughs> right. Damn, I'm jamming. An odd red painted and entirely wooden caravan that seems so broken down that you aren't quite sure how it was able to travel here, let alone store goods. And as you approach, a small gnome will appear from behind the counter and say, Greetings, customer! Welcome to Traveling Trinkets! Anything you're looking for today in particular? If you take a look at the menu, it lists all of our wares for the day! Right, and he will jump up and sort of slap onto the counter, and as well as point up to a hanging sign on the caravan, that you are very sure was not there before. And as he does so, you will see these items. No, I thought it was gonna be like a, those tables where you roll and you can buy random stuff. Loot boxes. 
Mm-mm. Loot boxes right. and my D and D. A sport. It's in the loot boxes. There you go. A legendary blade of King of Belathonia, Sir Eisenwallow Galatros, Faltimus <laughs> Haas Grunderberg, Faltenheim All Sodenberg, 5,000 gold. Invisible pocket watch. A can of beans, 1,000 um, gold. Oh boy, an invisible <laughs> pocket watch, that's so helpful. No way. I like how a can is 10 gold and a bag of beans is 10 gold. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me this. If you take that can and try and put the beans in it, can you do it without opening it? Can't you just seal it? No! We don't have that here. What if you were to melt the cap back on with fire? Why would you do that? You'd ruin the beans! You don't know anything about cooking, you fool! We will what are... And... What is a so? What is that blade there? Can you? Ah, you mean the legendary blade of King Belathonia of Sir Eisenwallow Galatros Faltenheim Fal- 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 Sundenberg. It is a legendary sword of golden light used to smite the darkness from this world. Legend says Lord Vince von Gerendel herself used it when she conquered the Hydra of Fear. Woo-ho-ho. Can I do like a history check to see if anything like this ever happened? You may. Can I do that too and give myself guidance? You also may. What do you have on your history? I have have a plus six. I'm gonna give you the fucking guidance, but I'll still roll history. Hey, can I get a quick description of Gnomish capsules? You may not. Yeah. I just right. know. Can we bring meta knowledge? I only know one thing about it. Meta knowledge, uh, you may bring meta knowledge in, and the only thing you may do it on is gnomish capsules. I know uh, people apparently rocket jumped with gnomish capsules, and they got nerfed also. That's the only thing I know about it. Damn rocket jumping? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what actually happened? They didn't rocket jump with gnomish capsules. Uh, what happened was, he, well, someone had a bag full of explosion potions and alcohol, uh, cause he was a paladin drunk. And, essentially, during the final fight, he readied a greatsword, readied an action to attack when he was attacked by his ally, uh, and their warlock cast burning hands on him, and launched him about 200 feet across the map, and he fucking market guard into the final boss. Damn, that's epic. <laughs> It was so fucking sick. And the worst part is, the audio for that episode cut out, and I'm so pissed about it. Feels fucking bad. Yeah, what did we learn about this history? Right. You learn uh, that whatever this gnome is shouting is complete bullshit. <laughs> Can we call him out on it? No, you may attempt I want, to. I want to call him out with my own way. How good would that blade hold up to my own? Now I'll ready my fucking great sword. All right, he will pick up the gigantic sword that's like five times his size, and he will say, "It'll cut your sword clean in two. I guarantee well, it." What if we were to clash the blades together? Oh, you wish to clash with me, young sir? You children have no idea who you're talking to. Alright, you may initiate the clash, as he will jump over- he will literally jump over the counter and grab the sword on his way. He will land in front of you. I will ready my blade in a defensive way, for when he attacks. They all- Not at him to strike at my blade. A foolish stance! Die! Alrighty. Is it a, a great sword? Uh, I don't know. How is the sword? Right. Plus 50. It's <laughs> my attack roll versus yours. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I gotta roll my attack, which is plus fucking 7. Come on. <laughs> it is possible. You it's him. Up. It's only a 19. <laughs> oh, no. 
as you take a defensive stance against the gnome's giant sword. Specifically titled... Legendary Blade of the King of Elithonia, Sir Eisenwallow Galatross, Fultonheim, Al Sundenberg. Will cleave your sword in two. With ease. What the fuck? Ravaris, we just got you that sword. Your kids it's are so wasteful, it. putting your weapons on the line like that. <laughs> Good thing I never swapped them out yet. Feels good, man. Oh, you have another blade for you? Yes, but I will not test it with that one. <laughs> and he will go to equip the new one. <laughs> Smile. Ooh, I have never seen technology like that before. How strange. Uh, he will pull a notepad from seemingly out of nowhere and will sort of like write that down. Yes. I'm gonna say his bullshit and apparently there are a lot of uh, legendary blades around this place so I just uh, got this one and I'm gonna pull the scimitar that I just got from Colano scimitar uh, can you tell anything about this blade ah yes this blade is rather simple you see it's native to the lands of Berithonia, where the tribe's people of the Lionel live. They're able to craft blades like this all the time. It's nothing too legendary. Yeah. Uh -huh. But this one was the first one of its kind by Lionel himself. Lionel it himself? Be just, as a, just a legendary blade as yours. You're an even bigger liar than your, your Azamarian friend. Woohoo! Lionel is a race, a you fool. I never why lied. You, why don't you give it a try? You lied about your blade being strong enough to extend up to mine. Woo -hoo. Oh. <laughs> um. Why don't you give and... it a try? No, I'll give him the scimitar. Alright, he will take the scimitar. So, what do you want me to do for this? Oh. If you get impressed by this blade, uh, I'll say a simple swap. This blade for your blade. So, since uh, you broke uh, my friend's blade here. Mm, no. I have, I have no use uh, for this blade. Yours uh, might be quite capable. And I believe but... I have no use for your blade either. And you will throw it in the air, snap his fingers, and it will disappear. He will take his sword back and jump over the counter. So, are you here to buy something or not? I I buy a bag of beans and five gnomish capsules. Alrighty. Where By the way, that lion art, that lionel scimitar is actually gone. It's I'll in a, space now. Do you have a, any playable instruments, maybe? Back there, hidden. I believe I do. You're just in luck, and you have grand taste, my friend. Gnomes are always the best craftsmanship of any instrument. Alright, and you will, after rummaging around for a bit, he will sort of pull, he will pull out a loot. I would like to make a check on the beans. Uh, not the beans, the capsules. He pulled a loot? Yes. That is correct. He pulled a loot out. Hmm. Alright, did you buy the can and the beans? No, I bought the five gnomish capsules and the bag of beans. Uh, I don't even remember the instruments that I can have proficiency with. Can I have a proficiency with a... A loot? I'll allow it. Uh, well, actually, no, wait. You'd, ha liar. you'd have to practice with it first, yeah. Yeah. I have it with a liar. Uh, hmm. Is that the only... Uh, what is the name of the instruments with... Uh, with the... Fucking iron... Uh, fucking forgot the name of the instruments. Like guitars. 
uh, violin their names. A loot. No, but they, they have a name that I completely forgot. It's like a class of instruments. You have the blowing instruments like trumpet, uh, saxophone, and then you have the... A string guitar, instrument? Lute. Yeah. Do you mean string brass? Do you have uh, any other string instruments there, no? I believe the classifications are string, brass, and woodwind. And percussion. I'm probably forgetting one, which is embarrassing because I fucking took band. Haha, mm. <laughs> loser. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, it's because uh, when I made the character, I Fuck made you. to specify oh. one instrument, so I'm just wondering if I have a... Would you like to swap percussion. it to loot? No, I think it'll be fun uh, to I... learn anyone if it doesn't have a lyre. Oh. Hmm. loot's not good enough for you. Bah! Kids these days. You will rummage back into his little lair, uh, stuff, and he will pull out a gnomish lyre. It being sort of... Hmm, how I best describe it? Sort of giving off a mystical vibe. Since I don't trust him that much, I'll use my, uh... As soon as I pick it, so I'm gonna pick it first, and... I want to see a magic find on it. Do you mean there detect magic? Weird. Yeah. Hmm. The item itself does seem to be enchanted, but that just seems to come from the materials itself that was used to make it. There's no... In fact, There's the, a... uh, material of the lyre itself seems to be, si quite simply, uh, very re refined wood and vines. This is not a, your usual lyre. Uh, can you give it a bit of more insight on what it, this is? This is a gnomish lyre, boy. It will produce the most beautiful sounds you have ever heard, and it will never break. And its chords will never snap. Oh. So they will never break, you say, and uh. Because you see, I uh, have a bit of a problem with stringy instruments. Hmm. That's why I don't have oh. my lyre right now. It will never break and it will never burn. This is my guarantee. And I'll try to actually play a uh, sun, but trying to also break the, the strings of the talons to see if they are resistant or not. Alright, as you strum the strings with your incredibly sharp talons, they will not even give a single sign of breaking or snapping. And then we'll play forth the beautiful harmony. <laughs> Seems uh, some of the words you say no more are, are true. Oh, you should learn to trust some people like me more. <laughs> uh, what is your name? Let's see. One moment, please. I have it stored somewhere. Also, fun fact, this is the first time anyone's asked for this man's name. <laughs> Which is why I don't know it off the top of my head. <laughs> they never ask for the man's name. While you look for it, can I do a check on the capsules? Uh, you may not. Actually, no, wait, you may. Yeah. Check it now. What, what, what kind? Uh, that would be on Arcana. Hmm. Arcana. Have some guidance. Fifteen. Plus three. My name is Balthia Shiverclave. <laughs> I am a mere gnomish trader. Remember that. Alright, hmm. an eighteen will be insufficient to identify the capsules. I down one. You down one? Yeah. Giga. Define you down one. Don't say you saw I, this, please. I, I take a capsule out of the bag. I look at it. I kind of look at it through the light, you know, holding it up a little bit. And then I toss it in my mouth and swallow it whole. Oh, ah! You didn't even chew it like a fucking man? Dang. It's a capsule. Uh... You get real high, you gotta chew it. Alright, that is set in stone. 
Can you type the name of the normal? So just so I type it here on my notes. I, I typed it in, don't worry. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I I, I typed it in. <laughs> it's pronounced well, like Balthius Shiverclave. Alright, uh, uh well. <laughs> he, said, he said set in stone and I immediately became nervous. Uh, so I'm gonna well, add uh, I'm gonna add well, SOS and, for and your well troll. One moment, please. I'm going to go scream. <laughs> Be right Why? back. I hope he makes you a gnome. You broke the DM. You probably... <laughs> I wonder if you killed yourself. Hey, remember when he said about... Yeah, I, I'm expecting, uh, you know, the unexpected. That's my specialty. Someone eats a fucking capsule. Wait, why is he eating everything? He he drank his gold. He's now he's eating his. <laughs> because he never aged past the toddler stage where you put everything in your mouth. I, you know what? I I I'm a I'm ready for a little bit of trolling. You know, I worship yep. the god of mischief, man. I'm ready for this. You know what? If. If an 18 isn't enough to check on the capsule, it's not worth trying to roll it again. Gonna eat it? So I ate it. Hmm, I don't know what this thing is, so I'm gonna eat it. Listen, it was either eat it or give myself an enema with it. <laughs> Why is the first thing that you do with an unidentified object is to put it in you, in some way, shape, or form? Should've probably shown it. Your, your, your first option should have been give yourself an enema. If you guys <laughs> don't think I went to the tavern for a very specific reason, you're very silly. Gosh darn it, if I get arrested because of you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just gonna do a magic trick. Oh, yeah, magic. She's gonna drink the whole bar. No, just wait. This is gonna be... But... I can't wait to see what happens to Zorg. He's about to go Ultra Instinct. I think he's gonna go Ultra Instinct to hell. We're gonna find him on hell. Though. That's what it's gonna happen. I was seriously hoping that there was gonna be two of me and that one of me was gonna be the final boss for a second, but then it ended up being a little weasel man. What is SOS? Why is it How is it all been I don't understand how it's all been absorbed. I get some stuff into this situation. Okay. What are you talking about? You know. Fuck, what did that? Nonce. If 18 doesn't hit, listen, there's only one solution. Hey man, if Zorg dies, that just means I get to take the fucking bead and do my RP with it. And let it free. Throw <laughs> some dice. Oh no. Uh, uh, should probably cast guidance on him right now. I don't think guidance uh, is gonna help. If you're gonna make <laughs> put everything in your mouth, you might as well make yourself a monk so you're immune to poison. <laughs> oh no. Those are... Those are some pretty high rolls. 13's not a nice number. But 95 is. They all look good. If, depending on the table, 95 can be quite bad. No, but like Friday the 13th, I don't know. If it's like a, something like 1 is good and 100 is really One bad. More. But, Gliss, before you, before you, um, like, describe what's going on, I want you to try and give us music according to what's going on. Nope, I this is, this is accurate music. Oh. I told you you're turning into a gnome, bitch. Nice. Know what that means? I can ride on someone's back. Ah, perfect. D50. Very convenient. Let's see where this fucking puts you. 18. Are you gonna get teleported around the world? They actually just end up in hell. Hmm. 
I'll save you. Good news and bad news. One, you're not dead. <laughs> Two. Oh, worth it then. Is that the good news or the bad news? The bad news. <laughs> uh, you're not an orc anymore. <laughs> oh. You're a fucking gnome. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> uh, okay. One moment, please. <laughs> an Asmod, let's go. I would, yeah. this means that just make a party of awesome. Okay? You could have made him my lizard, my lizard husband, my perfect reptilian husband. Mate, I, if you turn into a cobalt, that'll be hilarious and perfect. It's close. He's a bugbear now. Ooh. <laughs> He's a bugbear? Does it give his class? Yep. No. Oh, oh, I, oh, I thought you said race for a second. He's a, he's a bugbear now. So. Uh, How and a tall was Zorg? Fairly tall. Not anymore. Are um, bugbear oh. tall? Yeah, I think they're one of the tallest ones. I believe they're closer to goblins, right? No, no bugbears are... are like really big Feywild yeah. races. Alright. Yeah. They, I think they're the tallest one. They kind of look animalish in nature, so sort of like have like centaurish ears, flat noses. They're really hairy. Yeah, I was Great. almost creating one uh, as my first character, set up a one. On uh, beyond, it says they're a medium humanoid. So, oh, right. what, what does their size range say? Like five, six feet? What? What is it? I think it's seven to eight. Yeah. All right. Sounds about right. Yeah, they're does tall. His, does his brand new armor grow with him? Nope. Unfortunately, oh, no. it does not, and it will shatter. It is naked. As your arms yeah, will begin up. to shrink, uh, and then all of your limbs will straighten and lengthen out, and much more scrangly and hair will grow in a horrific transformation as you turn from an orc into a bugbear, screaming and writhing in an agony the entire time. For my thing, it says I'm between six and eight feet. Yep. Smallest, smallest version of a bugbear versus tallest version <laughs> of a bugbear. <laughs> True. I'll, I'll roll for your height. We'll do a d6 for height. Actually, no, wait. D6 Wouldn't it be a two. d8 then? Actually, yeah. Plus. Nice. You're still seven feet tall. Good luck. Basically, you just oh, became a werewolf. Alright. Uh, you all see your Zorg do something and then turn into a bugbear. There is saw him at the castle. My blade wasn't ready for this. Ooh. You know what? Ooh. I now have access to sneak and surprise attack. <laughs> Additionally, oh, as you all turn around and see that, an explosion will go off behind you, as the gnomish cart is no longer there. Oh, he dipped. Woohoo! Was the only sound you will hear after the explosion, echoing through the air. Oh, nice. Free liar. Mario jumping sounds. Ah, Do I still have the liar with me? Yeah. Ooh. And, However, and as the is going off, I, I yell for him, No, I want to buy more! <laughs> he probably thought he was in trouble. No actual trunk. It feels bad, man. <laughs> so no. There. Somehow your pockets feel a hundred gold lighter. Can I uh, convert uh, my my stuff to platinum, or do I have to keep it on gold? You can convert it to platinum if you want. Okay.
I don't know if you're tracking the gold, so I'm just putting here also. Is is that it? Is that your only reaction? Do you know? Your friend literally turning into a bugbear? Um, first I'm writing, uh, the stuff here. Uh, who's here? Uh, Krabber is, is here also, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be, uh, silently, like, what the fuck? Uh, where is Zorg? Wasn't he here? I will point at the bugbear. We have a furry and a scaly in the group now. No. Nice. Yeah, I'm already looking at that glyph. That you, Zorg? <laughs> I'm gonna ask the bugbear. Yeah, it's me. Hi, guys. Um, looks like I apparently grew a foot, and uh, I have longer arms now. What did you do? Did you buy the beans? <laughs> Magic beans, boys. Let's go. T taking out another little capsule and sh showing them. I, I ate one of these. As he shows you the capsule, you can very clearly see that those things are not edible. What do they look like? Uh, like stones? What is he supposed? Was he supposed to give himself an anima? Wait, I'm sorry. Suppository. An anime. Hold on. I. I get an eight. Is everything I say anime now? I get an eight yes. check on, and I don't learn shit. Yes. But I show them the capsule, and they're like. Oh. No, okay, if you show anything. someone, like, a piece of metal, they're like, oh, that's not edible. If you show, mo show someone a pencil, they're like, oh, I shouldn't eat that's that. That's edible. What? You're not supposed to eat pencils? No. Most things are edible if you try hard enough. True. Exactly. Yes, some, as Zorg has shown wants. us. I am living proof that you can eat anything. <laughs> Oh really? Eat another capsule. I dare you. <laughs> that was Do what it. I was about to say. Uh, maybe you should eat another one. Maybe you'll turn back to normal. Can we uh can we create an alternate universe real quick? With the no. potion and one of those maybe. The orc I buy a potion, bro. Do you still uh, have the potion that uh, changes color? <laughs> that is mine. Would you and I'm like going to the bar? Would you like to attempt to combine the capsule and the thing, the potion? <laughs> yeah. That was. I a... mean, Glenn is at the tavern. I have the potion. Yeah, they're at the tavern. I'm not there, but oh boy. But what about the orc eyebrows and the capsule? Would you be willing to give that? I also have some like to... fire ash. It's just ash. I'd like to fire. order something cold if they have anything at the tavern. Or, or we can wait. That's we will fine. zip no. from uh, the three stooges into the two stooges. <laughs> the two stooges. We're missing a stooge. We need another stooge. Anyways, I'll walk into the the tavern uh take a seat at the table just any old table that's empty all righty let's go to the bar girl let's go to the bar oh okay i'll let her take me to the bar okay. as you get there you'll see a rock a uh rock gnome woman tending to the bar Cleaning various dishes and shockingly quickly serving customers until she bolts over to you and say, Ah, what can I get you? Can I have something cold? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I believe we got a couple of different juices and some water. You want one of those? I was hoping for an alcoholic beverage. Ah, I want to look see. for the drunkest man in the bar. I want to. I give you I my specialty the... then. One yeah. moment, please. Alright. I like how she instantly assumed that I wanted juice or water. 
Listen, man, I can't drink. I can't either, technically. I'm only 20. Cringe. I'm older than you, snot nose. Fuck you. By the way. <laughs> as you look for the drunkest man in the bar, uh, the first thing you will see is a man who is unconscious. Not, not him. Oh, cringe. Let's go one less. <laughs> <laughs> the second one you will see is someone who seems to be rambling on about about something to a man next to him who does not seem to care about whatever that man is rambling on about. We'll have what he's having and a round for everyone in the bar. All right. The crowd will erupt in cheers as you do so. Uh, one guy will fall out of his chair. Yeah. No, look yeah. at you, Flan, you well. I wouldn't recommend it you do that around these parts. Might not make it out of the tavern. <laughs> yeah? Well, how about I show you a magic trick? Would you like to see a magic trick? Who wants to see a magic trick? The uh, bar will erupt in the cheers again. I look over at Ramses and I go, I've never had a drink before. Ramses is gonna look uh, kind of scared. I wink at her too, though. Well, how about we take it easy then instead? How about something. No, light no, no. Drinks all around. Magic trick. Yes, I need a volunteer. A oh, volunteer, dear. please. And I, I point to the, I point to, to anybody who's willing. Any hands go up? Uh, the guy who was yammering on earlier, his hand will shut up. Pick me, pick me. What do you got Come for me? Come over here. Come over here. Now, me and my lovely assistant here will make this man disappear. How about Just... we not? All right, then I'll do it on my own. Come here, boy. It oh comes no! Over to me. Ah, uh, sure. Is this a new kind of specialty? You will. It's a special drink. You will snatch the bottle from your hand and take a swig. It is the potion. Yep. Uh, have you have, have you added anything to it yet? Uh, no. I want to see what it does first. All right, to Brazil he goes. Open up some fucking maps. Additionally. How much does my round cost? Uh, probably about 100 goldish. I want to tip the bartender nice, too. Elena, do be kind of a pimp right now. I'm learning. Does Lorena even have the concept of gold? No. Hmm. She's foraged most her life. Let's see here. Oh, oh no, wait. Right, right. Pretty sure I have Dungeon Master notes on this. Ba da ba da bum ba da da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Oh, jeez. If it's a hundred gold for a drink. No, it's a hundred no, gold you. for for a round. Yeah, for, for the, the total. And for I, the total. And oh, I bought I bought okay. your drink too. And I okay. I'd like to tip the. Ooh. It's I'd like to tip the bartender. Like, let me give him twenty five gold. Okay. Okay. Good. I was gonna say. <laughs> This motherfucker went to Bellathonia. Yeah. How, does, how, how so. does this drink taste? Wait, wait. I want to cheers you. I want to say to Korakai. Who's Korakai? Where am I? Oh god, that's <laughs> the mountains. <laughs> Is he in Zyophleb? That's hilarious. Uh, He's in Bellathonia. Bellathonia like... mountains. Oh. Immediately killed. 
imagine imagine being drunk and you're just all of a sudden just <laughs> gone. See? I, I did a little Weirdest blackout ever. <sighs> We're gonna I'm find just the... gonna pretend that didn't happen next to me and I'm gonna take a drink. I'm gonna of, cheers of this, you. I'm gonna bone rattler. I cheers you with it and I say to Korakai. Unless yeah. I pronounced it wrong. We're gonna find fuck it, we're gonna find that drunk guy in hell because he actually died on the mountains. I'm just gonna fucking find you, Helena. He doesn't know my name. No, but he'll want to know your face. <laughs> yeah, you you do have a very memorable face. <laughs> And there's You're one the one who sent me to hell. All right, let's see where this fucker ends up. <laughs> the cave. Cave. Observer, that sounds like nice. in the. All right, I have to contact a player. They just got a fucking person dropped on them. That's nice. <laughs> Drunk person. <laughs> For a moment, I, I totally forgot that this world is happening for everyone everywhere at the same time. Yep. That's one of the really cool draws of Nardafel. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm gonna pin that so I don't forget. Alright, as you uh, make the man disappear, the potion will drop to the floor and it will not shatter. And thus the man will disappear and the man will, or the crowd itself, will erupt into cheers once more. I'll grab it, plug it, and then I wanna clink glasses with Ramses and say, one for Korakai. And then we'll, we'll move from there. Take our drinks. Ramses is just gonna stare at the bar and just drink her drink. What does it taste like? <clears throat> at first, it doesn't taste. I don't know how to t describe the taste of fucking alcohol. God damn it. Um, what's it called? What would you call the drink? It's called the Bone Rattler. Yeah. Now this is Can't... probably very dry. Uh, yeah, say... I can I'd... describe yeah. the uh, the effect of it as give me a con save. Alrighty. Both of us? Yep. I think it's a plus four. Let me just pop on over to my character sheet. Paladins don't get proficiency in constitution saving throws? What kind of bullshit is that? The cursed nine <laughs> strikes once more. Thirteen. Damn, I'm kind of jealous. Nice. Ramsey's is a lightweight and is now drunk. She had a rough couple of days, okay? She's happy to be drunk. Am I at least buzzed? Somewhat. This is my first time drinking, too. Um. However, as you drink, uh, you will hear... A horrific scream pierced through the air. That sounds like Zorg for a moment. Why would I scream? Because you <laughs> horrifically <laughs> transformed into a bugbear, sir. I'm gonna keep drinking my drink, gonna hunch over at the bar, gonna pretend I don't hear or see nothing. That's nothing, Ramses. Now, you remember that old man, right? Yes. And 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 you remember Fireman's the man who blew Oh, you don't know Fireman. Who's Fireman? So, I think you might have been passed out, but a handsome wizard set everything on fire and killed everybody. Oh, I thought you guys did that. Who was this wizard? Hunter, I think his name was. Either way, 
he's he saved us. He saved me before you saved me. Um, either way, this gas guy wants to punish him. So he works at the Mage's Guild, then? He's a prince of sorts. Ramses is gonna spit out her drink. <laughs> hey! Don't spit out my work. <coughs> what did you say? He's a prince, and I slide the bartender five more gold. Hmm. Jewel, narrow her eyes at you and go back to work. Oh okay. shit, I think she was listening. But oh, Prince um, what? I can't remember at the moment. I'm a little tossed. Bartender, one more. She will slide you another. Catches it coolly for once. I just imagine that's like, give me a drink, bartender. <laughs> Either way, I will lean in close and I say, if it comes down to it, I pick the prince who saved my life over the old man who zapped me. Ramses is just gonna raise her eyebrow a little bit. I, um, uh, okay. Oh, I'm saying. Trying to meet a prince. Hey, did you know we're staying at the palace? <clears throat> what? Looks over at the bartender. She's not pay paying attention anymore. She took your bribe and stopped listening. What? We're staying at a palace? Damn, a lot must have happened while I was out. I think you were just shopping. We do be shopping. Yeah, I got a cool shield. I see that. <sighs> this potion Anyways. seems to make people disappear. Yeah, best not use that on people. You know, their family might get worried when they don't come home. Uh, I doubt he had one. Oh dear, that's dark. Well, <laughs> switch, switching to a lighter subject. Uh, I'm I'm skilled in in making clothing items, and I. W what if I made you a dress, one that's fitting of your your height uh, and build? I've never, I've never had a makeover from a friend before. Well, I'll gladly do it, but I probably shouldn't start tonight. So I've been drinking. Right. As it's you, a lot stronger than I expected it to be. As you con continue on your drunken conquest, uh, Kravaris, Keldar, and this weird furry-looking creature will walk into the bar. Uh, I'll go, uh... Oh, did we make I, a new friend? I will guess, uh, I'll see... Helena straight away, since it's hard to miss. <laughs> and go run into them and say, Bad news. Zorg, I'll just... Zorg, Zorg is dead. I'm gonna raise my hands and go, Hey, my friends! And hope that the bar all cheers too. They cheer. Oh Everyone's my god, what drunk happened? As shit. <laughs> Before this, one question. Am I technically just naked because my armor shattered? Yeah. You get, they probably would have gotten- someone would have thrown a cloth at you at though. So we'll just say loincloth up. You're, oh, if you have a- depending on background, uh, you get some common clothes that you can equip, I guess. And can we just imagine that I spent the money to get another studded leather in my size? Sure. I'll just say minus 100 gold for buying clothes and all that junk. How did he die? What happened? I- Oh my god, I heard that scream earlier. I don't know. There was a gnome 
sold him a bunch of beans and I think he ate some and died. And so you just found something to replace him? <laughs> My beautiful Zorg? Yeah. I'll, I'll oh. nudge Eldar with an elbow and I'll say, stop joking. And I'll say, hi guys, it's me, I'm Zorg. You're uh, a lot hairier than I remember. Also, the voice would be different and unrecognizable. And taller, too. Your voice would be much taller, she's right. So true. I always wanted to be taller. I don't think that's taller, I think that's shorter. <laughs> Goddamn. But he was six foot, now he's like seven foot, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's why I said that he was taller. Just a bit more deep. So, what happened to you? Do you go through puberty or something? Is this common for orcs? Obviously, someone made him a man. <laughs> I'll kind of give Helena a side eye, like, um, okay. I well, cross I'll... my arms. Well, I'll hand, um, Ramsey's, uh, capsule. Describing how I ate it and then just turned into a bugbear. This doesn't look edible. You're the third person to say that, but hey. a little too quick. Hey, Ramses, want to see a magic trick? Oh, no. Oh, no. Here, let's... Let's, let's put it in this potion. No! What if it blows up? I don't think this is the blowing up kind of potion. I looked at it earlier. It just, um, sends you places. I, um, I vote we not and say we didn't. Okay. Zorg, what do you say? I'll, These I'll are your beans. I'll, I'll say nothing, but I'll quickly grab It's a capsule. And I'll put it away and then hide the bag. Wait, did you grab the potion from me? No, I just grabbed the capsule. Oh, the capsule away. bag? Alright, yeah. I put the potion back away then. No one wants to see a magic trick. Not this kind of magic trick. Not tonight, Helena. I mean, I, think I could always do it for the bar again. They love it. Bar, who wants to see a magic trick? Ah! Wait, am I muted? Oh, wait. Yeah! Fuck. God damn it. They will cheer. Have, having heard you say the bar loves it, I'll be like, what do you mean they love it? Have you already performed a magic trick? Oh, yeah. I I gained this, this drunk man's favor, poor fool. And I gave him a shot of this knowing full well it would make him disappear. Give me a also, give me a hears, give me yeah. a perception check. Okay. Just oh. just Helena for everyone. Unfortunate. Well, I'm putting that in my there notes. Is, there is guidance, <laughs> maybe. That nah, wouldn't help. I don't think Kervaris is down to guide me on... <laughs> <laughs> on a drunken stupor? No. Yeah. Um, I would also like to make a perception check. They did love it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh... Oh, someone might be listening, damn. Either way, continue. What, can, can I make a perception check? You may not. You may not. All right. Oh. Would anybody who would like to be my next? Who would like to be my next? Um. <laughs> what are they, willing participant? <laughs> Someone will call. It, Go for the bug bear fella. You leave my boyfriend out of this, sir. I'll say very sternly. Ah, you. I look for him. You know what? Give me him. Give me him. Can I influence the crowd to give me that guy who just told me to pick Zorg? That guy's gone. 
Oh man. Fucking fled. Ah, forget it. Forget it. Yo. I have right. sound, I think. You got sound now. I can so. hear you. Oh. Sound. Sound. Hey. Sound. What, who slides who in now? The bartender, probably. Her. Oh. Give me a drink, bartender. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Nobody's saying it. Hey. God damn it. Their output is fucked. I'm saying stuff now. Hey, uh. Hey, Helena. How, how about you, um, hand me the potion for safekeeping right now? I think that it's safer with me. Um. Seeing as you're turning into things randomly, how do I even know you're Zorg? Tuck's potion away. Helena, who, who's the one that got zapped with you by the old dude? Come on now. Not this thing. Okay, I remember, person. if I remember correctly, Zorg had a very special present for me. And Zorg. I drink my second bone rattler. Uh, you give me a con save, and Zorg give me a persuasion check. Persuasion? Persuasion. Persuasion. Oh, oh, is that your minus one smile? No, it's a plus one. Plus one. Ooh, hey. nice. Ooh, nice. Well, I guess unlucky for you, because you're not drunk as hell. <laughs> I can still pretend. Yeah. Kovaris is gonna yawn. You're mild again. Sold away. Oh, is Kavaris a coward and not drinking? So, he doesn't want to drink it during the day. Plus, uh, it's probably night by now, actually. Or it's so, getting to near dark. sunset. What, tall, dark, and handsome doesn't have a drink from time to time? Get in here, Cravaris. The moment that I get drunk with you a lot will be the last moment of my life. You know, <laughs> for all we know, this very well could be. Pulls out the potion. And it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> just pulls it out just to scare everybody. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I can hear people, and I'm also making sounds. That's fantastic. Poggers. Yeah, for what reason, nice. my my phone just decided to fuck off. Cool. Imagine playing D and D on your so phone. What did I miss? Helena's trying to seduce me into drinking. I'm at. Where else am I supposed to play D and D? Uh huh. Oh. Helena's trying to seduce the what? Me, Kravaris, <laughs> into drinking. drinking. Oh. So let's all just have a drink and get back to the palace. It's time for a new life, Kravaris. Uh, as I sip down my ale. What? Okay, you know what, Helena? Helena, how about this? I'll I'll, I'll give you the the beautiful amulet or the potion. I don't want it to be materialistic or possessive like that. It's gotta mean something. Puts Potion back away. It would mean a lot to me. Bartender, get this guy a bone rattler. You got it. One bone rattler coming right up. And she will yeah. slide one over to Zorg. You gotta have one of these. They're the best. I down it. I just down it. All right, give me a con save at disadvantage. <laughs> disadvantage? Your give tummy's me a... still fresh. Yeah, additionally, you ate a gnomish capsule. That's not good. It explodes. You die <laughs> instantly. A goblin spawns on your stomach. That's One more. Nice, you a pass. A gnome spawns in your stomach. Huh? Wait, 12 passes? Yeah. Well, it doesn't instantly knock 14. him out. My first oh, turn. it's a knockout, okay. Yeah. I'm the you're driver. drunk now. You're Omega drunk now. See? <laughs> now let's go rub shoulders with some loyals. Come on, Cravaris, come take a shot with us. 
Are we gonna go meet no, royals, or are we gonna get drunk in a bar? We're gonna stay at the palace, but we're gonna get a good buzz here first. You know what? You will yeah. sigh and take a drink, but not a bone radler. Let's take a regular thing of ale. It's not feeling a bone radler tonight. Alrighty. Not a bone radler tonight. Alright, so. I assume you take your drink and then you all head off to the palace. How much is the yes. ale here? Just so I subtract I'm scared from it. Yeah. The bartender I'm loves drunk, me. Am I, by the way? Because I've nice been angle. playing it like I think more. Hmm? I don't on know. I don't have a lot of okay. experience being drunk either. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how drunk should I be acting? Yes. Uh, uh... Did you have more or less than what Elena had? Less. It would also depend how long it's been technically having the drink. And how and how fast you drink it. We're all a little silly. Let's just put it there. At know. a regular pace? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, drunk shit. Keldar, there is no Four. way in the 9 hells you have 10,300 gold. Oh, did I type it wrong? You keep saying platinum. One plat is 100 gold. No, one platinum is 10 yeah, gold. It's ten. Yeah, it's 10. What the fuck? Oh, dang. I always had it. Everything I... goes up by increments of ten to be really yeah. simple. Except uh, uh because the D people people yeah, who play I... D and D hate math, which is funny considering it's all fucking math. Yeah, yes. I always I always did it by confused. I thought it I thought it was like a tejada also a hundred a hundred a hundred. Yeah, that's how I do it's it. Ten. Yeah, it's ten. That's cringe. I like my way better. <laughs> Change your math now. Do it now. I'll allow it, whatever. I Alrighty. can put uh, on gold again, if you want. No. Oh, and by the way, uh, I'll go ahead and say this since you guys are in general. Pause oh, I check. thought my sound cut out again. <laughs> No, it's just a dramatic pause. Uh, He's making sure no one's listening. Him, him drinking that could have turned into a TPK boss fight. <laughs> oh, him drinking the, the bone rattler after the gnomish? No, him just eating the gnomish. Oh. You that could have... No idea. Nice. Okay, it out. would transform into some Meldritch beast or something? Either way, yeah. as such... You will head off to the palace. Okay. And he's, each of you stumble, and each of you stumble up to the stairs, and up to the massive palace doors. I ain't stumbling. So, so on on a scale of one to ten, how drunk should I be acting? I said four. Should I be stumbling drunk? Ah, uh, just a little bit. Could probably just still. Just a little bit. Just okay. a little bit. Buzz. Okay. I'm taking okay. the buzzed route. I'm just a little bit. I rolled I performance. I have liquid cast, confidence. But... <laughs> I am on I rolled, a roll. I rolled a performance there just to see how drunk I was. So. If I can pretend I'm not drunk. I would I already also have, like the... I already have dizzy yeah. steps, so I look fucking hammered. <laughs> I would also like to, to... To try and not act as drunk as I am. Keep my air of professionalism about me. Hmm. Either way. Where should I roll for that? You have made it to the palace grounds. Yay! Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yes. we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. I said performance. Roll performance now. Roll performance okay. now. I guess I didn't hear that part. Because you're too drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me just double check what my performance is. I think it's a plus two. Maybe it's a plus four. It's Christmas. I think it's plus two. 
We can do a little bit of plus two. Eh? Persuasion performance plus two. Don't paladins want high charisma? Unfortunate. Yes. But I my have... constitution, my decks are the highest. Your currently. decks? You mean your strength? Oh, yeah. Strength. My drunk, bad. Drunk IRL. <laughs> Plus one I RP. In, in real life. Plus one? When? My charisma is plus five, but I also have dizzy steps, so I don't think I can help but look drunk. Oh god! <laughs> Almost forgot about that. Either way, so I'm I'm leading us I'm leading us to the palace. And as such, I am I am very confident after my interactions at the bar. You walk straight to hell. <laughs> Sorry, I'm crunching ice. Either way. Now that you have reached the palace doors, what what do you do? Hello. Um, is there a guard there? Uh, currently there is not. What the do fuck? Have, do is, they is have is one there... of those cool and knobs that you hit on the yeah, door? Yeah, one of those big yeah. brass knockers. They do. I, I do. I go ahead. I, I and I want to hit the brass knock. You know what? Let, I let Ramses do. I let Ramses go ahead and do it. She wanted to. Sweet. I've always wanted to do this. So she's gonna knock yeah. on the bit <laughs> on it. Donk, donk, hey. donk. All right. As the thuds of the door knocker sounds through the castle, a familiar face to some of you will peek through. As Gunther greets you. Ah, oh, I see you've arrived. Firemans turns to Ramses. This is Fire Prince Mans. Oh, you're old shrug. Well, uh. I'll bow. Ah, there's no need or to bow, wait, my friend. Or wait, what is what is the, what is the term of respect in my country? Is it like a kneel, a bow? What is it? Uh, for you would probably be a kneel. Okay, then I'll kneel instead. You may stand. There is no need for such formalities here. Not What's right going now, on? at least. What's going on, man? Nothing much. Simply taking care of some things that I need to do. You are aware it's the dead of night, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're supposed to sleep here. I'm gonna be a princess tonight. As I'm you aware. You wanna be my prince? Ugh. <laughs> no, thank you. Follow Teach me. Yourself. I recommend All we right. take the back way, so Princess Ale doesn't see you like this. Follow me. Come on, guys. So okay, follow. I'll, I'll follow. Yeah. Alright, as you follow Gunther, he will lead you through a sort of like side corridor, and then up to what appears to be a massive uh, guest room, or a set to massive guest rooms, I suppose. These two rooms will be yours for the night. Well, for the week, I suppose, as you wait here. Once the festival is over, there is another thing I would like you to do. You're familiar with that man, Ozzy, yes? Barely. Hmm. Who's Ozzy? Who what? is Ozzy? The one who tried to kill me. Ah, uh, yes, him. Yes, one of the Snake Fang. He's currently still in possession of the Hellstone. And if my thoughts are correct, that he is not truly with the Snake Fang, then he might have used it to enter Hell itself. Why would he enter hell? Are you aware of the origin of these creatures known as slime mimics? Would I be familiar with their origin? Likely the not. DM? Sorry to interrupt, but I don't think that he would enter hell himself. He, he, he displayed himself as a massive coward. Perhaps. But even cowards have to run back to a home. He displayed himself as me. For all I know, he could be in hell, looking like me right now. He could be you. He could be me. He could be any one of us. Would I know uh, from my travels? Ramses will roll our eyes in our drunken state. Either way, slime mimics are a creature born from the abyss. They are creatures that will tend to lure in their victims by mimicking others, by the sounds or sight. 
and then they will quite simply devour them as any other mimic would. My theory is... He knew I would hug myself, snaps fingers. Perhaps. Either way, what I want for you to do is to delve into hell itself and capture this man. Um... I, um... I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't think I'm personally capable of that, so... I got my ass handed to me by common bandits. Hmm, I see. Perhaps you could find some training with Yaz, if you would like. I don't Are... think a mage is going to help me all that much, but I suppose it's, it's worth a try. I don't think Gaz has your best intentions in mind. I believe Gaz simply underestimated his enemy. Something he does on occasion. If you wish, I could train you myself. Hi, um, is that normal for somebody of your position? I'm a general just like Gaz and Patrine. Why would it not be? I... Oh, he's oh, he's Omega powerful. The title of Prince seems to be dwindling in its use every time we hear it here. Mm -hmm. So what kind of training do you think would be enough to, to go into hell itself? And what kind of prince are you if no one talks about you like a prince? Well, a prince is simply someone born in royal status, I suppose. They are not necessarily the king, like a Zell is. I suppose the easiest way to say it is that I don't have the throne. Do you seek to have the throne? I do not. I believe a Zell will grow into a fine ruler. And after all, ruling isn't exactly my style of doing things. Same here, buddy. Kakona clap. <laughs> now to get Kermat to hell. has changed races too. <laughs> wow. Yeah, totally. New voice, poggers. How would we get New to voice, hell? New voice, who did? I have my own methods of doing this at the moment. <laughs> Though I recommend you do not snoop around the palace. You might stumble across something you might not want to see yet. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh! I dropped something! Pain. Well, that's anyway. dreadfully ominous. Yes. Quite. Yeah, it's just grandma. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma's actually, actually like a demon. <laughs> I'm falling down and I can't I'm, uh, get up. Don't look at grandma. I've fallen into the abyss. Ah! She comes out as like a minotaur. <laughs> what's in this? What's in this trip to hell for us? I guess. Hmm. Well, quite probably simply, death. The better answer is, what do you want? Do you happen to know a scientist? You must mean the one you met at the camp. Yes. Stella Shaw, as I believe his name is. You seek I revenge didn't... on him, do you? How did you know? I can sense such intent from a mile away. If you wish to have revenge on him, I can give you that and much more. He is part of a group known as the Snake Fang. You wish? I can see to it that, that you personally will be able to burn them all to the ground. Carvaris will grin and nod. Hmm. Oh, dark this guy fire. gets... Wonderful. Is there any other requests that you may have? Uh, is it possible for the woman doing experiments on the medical camp, uh, make that stop. Ah, you mean Patrine? Yeah. 
I'm afraid what she tampers with is just her own magic. Necromancy. I'm afraid without her, Scorchoth would likely fall in, in a day. But if those experiments uh, may still fall... Currently... Due to her creation or... Maybe she can turn also against the town. I don't believe she would. Her loyalty lies with me and me alone. And it has been tested time and time again. This is... This is the part where I say that... She ends up betraying him in the end. Smile. LOL. Either way, if you have Creatures any like that don't, don't belong on, on this realm. That's why, particularly, I came here to this land. Hearing about uh, all the portals opening on the place. If uh, wasn't there as a guest to, to get uh, stuff that could help my group, uh, but try to slay those creatures. Oh, what? Sorry, I was typing. Uh, just saying that I would uh, kill the creatures uh, that wasn't on the down uh, on the medical camp as a guest. Let's see, if you wish to have a crusade against the undead and these other such monsters, I can insist in that. You would be pleased to know that Darfui has no shortage of these creatures. I can afford you your own band of hunters if you'd like. Whoa. If I can stop, I'd be uh, sending them to die. I assure you, the men I send with them will not be mere cannon fodder. I pay those who work for me well. Or I suppose, in this circumstance, they will be working with me. But you also pay her, don't you? Katrine? Why, well, of yeah. course. Um, no, I'm not interested in soldiers hired by you by the way think about what you wish and if you have an and if you have a question if you have something you may need you may simply ask it of me and I shall provide it you wouldn't happen to have like a scrivener in town or someone with scrivener powers I could study with I do. Who who uh who are they and where could I maybe find them? I'm afraid I will have to ask for them, as they currently have taken refuge in Claudia. Though I assure you that they, that they are one of the best in the land. They work under the Grand Inquisitor herself, after all. Grand Inquisitor of which order? Of the Claudian Order, Vince von Gerendel. Gibbs Cravaris a, a little look like, huh? Hmm. Surprised you do not know of her. Vince von Gerendel is known throughout the land for her power as the Grand Inquisitor. She is said to have slain the Hydra of Fear that once plagued the lands, and even tamed it, as some legends say. That motherfucker was telling the truth. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Got him. Gravaris cussed. <laughs> no, he, he swore before. I know yep. the gnome was telling the truth. Yep. I give him a little knuckle bump. Told you the gnome never lies. No. Either way, I'll take my leave now. I have my own matters to attend to. I'll see to it that this doctor is hunted down, and that any, that any other needs you have are attended to. Additionally, in this journey to the abyss, no one has been there yet. So anything that you find, you may keep as yours. Land, weaponry, Anything you want. Aw, oh, thanks, T. I wish thanks, you a good thanks, night. Hunter. And with the festival coming up, I wish that you enjoy that as well. Yeah, come by the girls' room anytime this week.
he will shut, have already shut the door. Right. Ramses is just gonna... Oh, look at Helena. You can't just... Oh, dear. I'm sorry, girl. You know me. You know me. Okay, but, but don't lump me into that. I, I have you. a reputation to upkeep. What's a reputation? <laughs> well... It's like something you're known by. How you're known uh, to act. How I'm known... The bar brawl. Now uh, you well, guys... Well, we missed the bar brawling. I was keeping this... I was keeping this cool for you, girl. It was a girl's night. Carvaris is gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna yeah. look for a bathing chamber. Alright. You're able to find one with white ease. Sweet. Does it have water in it? Probably not. So. It does. Sweet. Uh, can I go to the door and say the door is locked? Hmm? The door you came in? Or what? Yeah. Or it's not. I walk by Ramsey's going in and I say, let me know when you're done with that and immediately fall down into the bed on top of the covers and just fall asleep. I'm not going to bathe. Gross. But I was <laughs> pretending like I might. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I'll take a bath and then I'll uh... go to bed. I guess I'll do. Oh, and then I'll, I'll kind of like nudge Helena up when I'm finished. I'm done with the bath. Oh. Oh. Did you empty it? Yeah, I'll have emptied it before. Or, well, yeah, I'll have emptied and replaced the water then. Before I woke her up. Oh, before. you replaced the water. Well, yeah, I was filthy from travel, too. I, I was... Okay, okay, okay. I just stumble into the bath, and for once in my life, I'm getting a little bit clean. <laughs> I'm in a clean arc. Hell I'm yeah. gonna... And it was a cobalt all along. And I fall asleep in, in, in the warm water. Disgusting. <laughs> I was I'd going like... to say you come out with shining scales. Uh, however, they will be just as disgusting as when you walked in. <laughs> if not more gonna... disgusting. I'm gonna clean my armor and weapon and then go to bed after I'm finished with my nightly ritual. Alright. What are the boys doing? I already went to sleep. Pussy. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. Pussy. Uh, actually, you know what? Before I go to sleep, I'm gonna have my armor of will laid out so I can wield it in, in the morning. Do scales get soggy? No. No, I'm just like like a crocodile just sleeping in mud. I'm just cuddled in filth. And um, can I talk to Korakai a little bit? Oh, you may attempt to. A booty call. I would I would like to talk to Korakai about my hilarious pranks so far. Alrighty. I All right. need to do uh. I can just roll it for you. All right, okay. that'll work. Yeah. Yes. Hello, Helena. Hi, friend. I've made I've made new friends and I've done a few mischiefs just for us. Wonderful. Do you know where I sent that man from the bar? Hmm. Yeah, I do. I saw the entire thing. And as you speak to her, it will snap. And silence will only be heard. Manga Friend? Omega Giga. Friend? No response will be heard. Uh, before going to sleep, I would like uh, to go outside the room to... Maybe a bit far away. Uh, maybe outside uh, to get room to, to try out in the new lair. Alright. I, um... Give me a performance uh, with advantage, because oh. this is a gnomish liar. Oh, damn. Nice. Oh, 
That's a nine and an eight. Okay. Yep. Just try it out. Anyway, despite the nine and the eight, the tune is still beautiful and fits the night sky perfectly. Do I hear that? If you're awake, you probably do. I'm still a I'm still awake because I'm very worried about my friend. Alrighty. I uh I I'd like to examine the uh soul collector a little bit, kind of play it play with it in my hands, kind of try to meld and no not meld uh kind of like sense sense what may be in it or what I can do more. Hey, sure, give me an arcana. Meditate with it, I guess, is what I'm going for. Yeah, give me an arcana check. Also, is there, like, background noise on my end? No, no. Oh, no, 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 I was talking about the song. Oh, okay. Because it had a little bit of flute in it. Wicked. And, like, string instrument. That's a seven. It, it's just fitting. Okay. I suppose it'll be enough. <clears throat> Our arcana check will reveal that this item is likely used to store souls in one form or another. And with your previous uh, information collected that the dice was a weapon of the collector, you come across the occlusion that somehow, someway, 20 souls were collected to form the collector's weapon. And as such, whenever it is rolled, a new weapon representing that soul will be formed. You better not talk about us, any of this info. Is is there a check I can do to see if like if I can gather souls with it and then transfer them or put them or like add soul add yeah. souls to it to take souls out? Uh once a soul is put in, it cannot be taken out. And additionally, you must have a way of sort of collecting souls. This is just the carrier. First, you must be able to catch the fly before you store it. Uh, I would also like to take out the little gold bead that we found out is like fragmented soul, and I'd like to kind of hold it with the soul collector. But I'll examine the bead more. I suppose that will be another arcana. So much arcana. What if we rolled a con arcana again? Not. Nice. Aha! 24. That'll tell you that these two items likely are compatible. Would oh. you like to combine them? Yes. Very well. I combine them. They will simply merge into one. As a one sided coin will form. It will be cut it will be tinged with gold and blue. As you have made a soul weapon. On both sides of the coin is a single blade. And thus, you have created your own soul weapon. And I will give you the information on that later. Okay. Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll tuck that away in a safe. Uh, Cravaris unable to see what it... read on the board 300 times I will not use soul weapons right and with that and with everyone asleep the moonfire festival will begin tomorrow and as such today's session will come to a close clap thank you all for playing Yay. with me we'll have more time to prepare that's correct that prepare more. As next time we play, I will have the entirety of the Moonfire Festival ready and fleshed out. 
sweet. I'm gonna try to also think something on Ballora. I will also say that there will be a dunking game with Prince Gunther involved. Oh, oh boy. I need to use our dexterity checks. <laughs> I don't like him. My character doesn't like him already. Why? What'd he do? I really like him. The experiments. Oh. I mean, he's not the experimenter, he's, he's just not the prince he mans. But he does allow it. He does whatever is best for his kingdom. A sacrifice he must make. Oh, I know. What? Huh? Kingdom decisions are not easy. Kingdom come. <laughs> King Kong. Donkey so Kong? Anime. Anyways, I thank you all for playing with me. Uh, I'm very happy that session was not as awful as the last one. <laughs> oh, it can gosh. only go up from here. I'm a new race. God, that's RP such a heavy move. one. Uh, does uh, does Zorg change anything like uh, his proficiency is anything? Yes. Uh, anything uh, that he had that was proficient because of an orc, you would change that. Uh, his stat modifiers from orc, you will be changing that. Essentially, just change everything to being a bugbear. Oof. I don't think orc gave me proficiency in anything. It should. Oh, yeah. It gives on a lot of stuff. Uh, speed, no. dark vision. I don't have some features, but other than ability score difference, nothing. Speed is the same. Dark vision is the same. Uh, like I said, the features change. My languages change, but otherwise. Oh no, you that's speak it. the same languages. Because Except just or... just by being a bugbear, you don't become oh like all that, I guess. Would he uh, learn bugbear? Knowledge. Hmm. Huh? He just meets another bugbear, and they like talk to him about bugbear stuff, and he's like, "What?" Huh? Uh, Stolen valor. Language? What is the loot that no one got yet? No one has the loot. He took it back. No, the loot that I said, uh, the stuff we got uh, on the camp. I think only the... What? The scrap cannon. I oh, the, the loot, not the loot. I was thinking of, like, uh, the instrument. No, no, L U R L O O T. I can't spell. Ooh, Laroot. Laroot. The, the, the bounty treasure. The good shit. Yeah. I'm gonna end the recording. I took the scrap cannon. Also, so, VODs will be going up tonight. I apologize for not uploading those. Oh, okay. Thank you all for Ooh, watching did I the put VOD. That into my